Hey, everybody. Welcome to Shadowcasters Network, premiere of Misspent Youth. Woo! This is Robert Bull's indie RPG of Teenage Rebellion in a fucked up future. And we ah. are going to both create that future and tell the story about those teens rebelling in it. We have yes. a very special guest with us in the chat tonight. Robert Bull, the creator of Misspent Youth, is here. So make sure you say hello to him. Uh, I'm going to link... The, um, the his his page for misspent youth so that you could buy it and purchase it and love it and uh, he's a really cool guy he was on with us on Thursday as we were walking through uh, all the different ways that we're going to uh, have fun with the game and uh, he's a really cool guy so support him by buying your own copy of misspent youth and also I have with me fellow shadowcaster family uh, why don't we introduce ourselves? Uh, starting with Oz. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm Oz. I am uh, the GM of Join the Anarchy, the Shadow and Anarchy game that we run here on the Shadowcasters Network Twitch. I'm also the voice of Augustus on Tales from the Stuffer Shack and the voice of Ziggy on Radio Free Detroit, the spinoff show from Join the Anarchy, uh, run by our very own Palmer in chat. Yay! Very cool. And next, why don't we have Katie? <laughs> Hi, uh, my name's Katie, more notably the trivia queen and terrorist on this channel, and Palmer's arch nemesis. Hi, Palmer. <laughs> and my husband, as you all know, is Damien, who does all the wonderful uh, shows such as um, Ready Check and Once Upon a Time uh, Mediocre at Best, but I am here tonight joining as part of the cast, and I'm really looking forward to uh, playing this wonderful fucked up anarchy game. Uh, next up, we have Cassie. Hi, I'm Cassie. I'm with Original Box Set, Moonlighting on the Shadowcasters Network, more often than not these days. <laughs> so, um, I'm really looking forward to playing... Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this moment. As you can tell, I, I wanted to dress the part, so... We all kind of wanted to dress the part, so that's <laughs> why I'm like an amazingly rebellious school teacher. And Cliff! Yo, hey, I am um, also known as Mr. Johnson from the Arcology podcast. Uh, but do stuff on here on Twitch, mostly involving the role playing games. I wasn't ready check until recently. Uh, dropped out of that so I could spend more time doing other uh, more tabletop stuff. So looking forward to that. And I want to take a moment to plug, check out first Sunday in October. We're starting a, a Starfinder actual play that's going to be called Stellar Drift. I haven't really talked about it much yet, but I should start talking about it because it's a month away now, so. It's official. Yeah, 2 to 5 p.m. Central Time. So uh, it, it's EU friendly uh, time and we'll, we'll have a great time. But I don't want to steal any more spotlight for that. Just want to take a moment to plug it. But, Very uh, cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this. Uh, this is going to be so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. And, and you guys all know me as Opti, those of you who do the uh, voice of the Neo Anarchist podcast and uh, do some freelance stuff uh, for Shadowrun as well. And it was something that I was looking for. Um, I stumbled across uh, Misspent Youth as I was looking for a neat mechanic to reflect uh, hard choices in, in RPGs. Um, and, and, and I came across uh, Robert Bowles' system in which you would have to um, either stand or or sell out your convictions, like your character, uh, your your core concepts of your character, to either win or lose the game of Misspent Youth, and so that that really drew me to it. And I, I got uh, this team around me. I think we all kind of coalesced uh, when we were at Gen Con, and uh, I'm pretty excited to be uh, rebelling with these folks. So if you guys have any questions, hit us up in the. Uh, Twitch chat, and if you have any questions for Robert Bowl, who's the creator, he's up in the Twitch chat as well, so hit him up. And uh, the first thing that we need to do, this this sort of session zero, we're going to see if we can't uh, both create our characters and the authority uh, here in this uh, session, but also if we have enough time, we're going to start playing some. Um, the first thing that we need to do is create the authority. The authority is going to be the big bad guy of misspent youth. And ideally, it could be some sort of future dystopian whatever, but it doesn't have to be. 
uh, you could run a game that is basically Care Bears rebelling against the evil rogue evil Care Bear, or uh, a, a bunch of pencils rebelling against the pencil sharpener. I mean, like you really could go crazy with this. Um, so, so uh, essentially, that's that's what we're going to be doing right now. Ah, we're going man. to go ahead. No, I was just going to say I'm really excited to play in a Care Bear dystopia. Right. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm subverting, not. subverting no. some childhood tropes wouldn't be the worst thing we could do either. But um, <laughs> What we had sort of decided was that in addition to us coming up with stuff, we would also like the chat to get involved and help us to create certain parts of the authority. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Oz, you can help me remember, how did we say we were going to involve the uh, the audience in our decision making? Honestly, like we're going to be here brainstorming. And as we do, feel free to offer your suggestions. And we're monitoring chat. So if you come up with something that's really awesome, we're going to be like, oh, my God, did you see this guy's or this girl's awesome suggestion? Like, yo, let's yeah. let's let's consider that and let's put it in because um, we have to start, right, with um, just kind of generally naming a few things that we hate about bullies, right? Yes. So that's that's one of the, th the places that we want to start is creating the authority really should make you feel something. So that when the authority does something to the characters, when the authority acts, or even when the authority is mentioned, you should have like a, a balling up in your fist reaction. Like, oh, I hate that. So... We had asked uh, our cast to kind of come up with some of the things that they absolutely hate about authority, things that make them some sort of injustice or things that bullies do to make them uh, clench their fists. And so why don't we start by just brainstorming uh, that stuff in any order, whoever wants to go first. What do you what do you hate about bullies? What makes you angry? Oh, gaslighting. Gaslighting drives me up all sorts of walls, just purposefully like questioning yourself every step of the way as everybody puts you down mm -hmm. making you making you question your own intelligence making you in question your own actions just it it oh it drives me crazy because then you start to feel like a liar and 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 that just everything you're doing is suddenly what you hate oh. so gaslighting people when the people make you think that you're the crazy one just for being normal or normal or you Right. Yeah, okay. exactly. That's a good one. Chat, you can help us out with this. What makes you crazy uh, or angry or, or just spitting mad when you think about bullies and what bullies can do to people? What else you got, guys? So um, my, one of my things is like, you know, because they have a louder voice, that automatically means they're right. You know what I mean? It's like when you have like this group of people and they're all like basically shouting over you know anything that you that you believe and then that means that obviously they're right because they're louder than you and it could be like you know that metaphorically louder or you know straight up literally louder than you but yeah yeah so like, like sort the, of, sort the of pack might mentality right that louder. yeah 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 okay. like that pack mentality that where where the voices are multiplied and you kind of get shouted down. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ugh. Um, for me, how about um, like toxic internet, uh, like Ooh. like um, arguments, like harassment. straw man argument. Yeah. Or... Like harass. Like yeah. I just I'm I'm. It drives me nuts when I see like just a whole bunch of people just go hard and like express a bunch of stuff that they wouldn't normally express to your face, but they'll do it here and make your life annoying. Because they have like the guise of anonymity protecting yeah. them, so they feel that they have to no longer have a filter. So yeah. so, so, sort of toxic harassment via via internet or, or anonymity. Uh, yeah, let's, let's say via anonymity, yeah. Okay. We got both Caller yeah. and uh, JRAM84 saying uh, said something fairly similar. Bullies turning everyone against you or manipulate peers against you. So that's a good one. Mm -hmm. A terrible internet pun is forcing themselves and their views into your life. And yeah. mine kind of ties into that in that I think a lot of bullies are people, they want to feel more important, more powerful, and feel above you. So 
what I hate the most, or one of the things I hate the most about what, what they do is they take something that is excellent or beautiful or fantastic or special about you, and then they try to make you think that it's a pile of dog shit. Mm-hmm. And they use it, they turn it into something they criticize you about, and so you feel bad about it. So the thing that, that like, the light that you should shine into the world, you want to hide it away because because it'll hurt you if the bullies yeah. see that. Yeah. So so turning turning good stuff into into something shameful. Yeah. Definitely the, the shaming thing. Especially just, when you're especially when you're a teenager, like you get you get shamed like that feels like it's forever. Especially it for something trivial. Yeah. Belittling like, all this. this. Yeah, especially if it's something that you enjoy, to how just people just shit on things that you like. Yeah. It's like their hobbies, just shitting on them just to shit on them. It's like, look, right? let people yeah, enjoy they... what they fucking want to enjoy. Don't shit on their fucking hobby. Like, that's like, not cool. The world is hard, and if you find some beauty or some goodness in it, and then people just crap on that, like, that can just, that can just really be demoralizing. I like that. Yeah. I don't like that, but... Oh, that'll make a good. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's also, awesome. also, they're just fucking mean. Mean yeah, to people. Just, Why? Just mean. Why be mean? Yeah. Just mean people. <laughs> uh, bullies that craft creative nickname puns. Not <laughs> oh. specific, but yes, I think we all get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, you guys are bringing up my f- childhood here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We have um, bullies uh, sorry, tricking you into di- disclosing personal insecurities or demons. Getting uh, picked last. Sub- subliminal messages. Ooh. Um, that, oh, so Era I, I, has a good one too, like tricking you into like opening up to them so they can use like your your personal insecurities against you mm. later on. Like that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what is that Depending. called? There's a term I for that. I don't know. But... It's like, it's Machiavellian, almost. Exactly. But just it... friending you just so that they can... Oof. Yeah. <laughs> that one... Um... It's so a little too uh, close how, to home. How would, we, how would we say that? Um, um, to, uh, uh, fall, uh, like, false trust? Maybe? Yeah. 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 Gar- garnering trust to uh, to hurt you. Yeah. Turn against or like right. taking Sinbad. advantage of a vulnerability. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sinbad EV's Using your vulnerability here. against you. Yeah. Convincing good people that it's okay to do bad things to bad people because they deserve it. Uh, I think that, that, that plays very well into one of my biggest things that I dislike about modern bullies is scapegoating. You know, uh. other, you know, those people from uh, the, that other country that you need to build the wall up against or. It's those people having <laughs> improper sexual relations that are, you know, making so, God mad at our country. Uh, yeah. So Palmer says he hates the authority already. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. this, this, we're this, all this getting in the, the spirit authority. of this. These are, these are the things that we're going to draw from to create yeah. our authority. So we've got sort of a gaslighting or, or garnering trust to hurt you. We've got people who are louder and, and just maybe the, by the, by the um, volume Wait, of the you- voice. They shit. What? What? No, Venti and chat being a oh, shitbird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got you know, toxic harassment, which which Venti's doing right now via <laughs> internet. <or anonymity. laughs> We've got um, bullies, resident trolls, or people against you. People turning good stuff into something shameful and scapegoating. Those are yeah, that that that'll okay, do it. That's yeah. a good. Yeah. A good base then, for a for a horrible horrible villain. Jesus! Uh, <laughs> if I can throw one more thing, it's sure. it's 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 some somebody who's supposed to be what what they're doing is supposed to be a force for good, but they're twisting it into something bad, like bad churches or bad cops. Uh, so or, twisted or, morality or bad teachers. Abuse, they, they, abuse of power. Abuse of trust and power, right? So. Is someone who's like police are supposed to protect you, not, you know, shoot you in a mental health welfare check. Yeah, just just mm-hmm. twisting things that are supposed to be good things. 
Yeah, that's a that's a that's particularly pernicious because you you start off trusting them, uh, and, and they they take advantage of that. Okay, religion so, is supposed to be you know good and about love for your fellow person, but instead it's used as, in many ways as a an excuse for uh, treating people badly and finding your scapegoat. I feel like it does all those things that we just that we just talked about before. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think, that, I think that we've got it, man. I think we've got a lot right. to pick from. Yeah. <laughs> so so the first thing that we would otherwise do is give a name and a description to the authority. I think we're actually going to kick that one to the end so that we can kind of get a sense for what our authority is and then give it a name and a description. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do instead is come up with uh, a vice for our authority. And the authority's vice is the underlying motivation for what the uh, for what they do. So like what's at the root of all the messed up stuff that they do? Uh, we could choose from one of the following. Absolutism, which is the authority knows uh, how things ought to be done and they can't stand to have any deviation. Uh, fear, which is uh, they're afraid of uh, other people having power. So they have a lot of bluster, but they're really just scared at the uh, heart of it. They have greed, right? Which is basically they just want everything. Um, most of the time it's money, but it could be other things like power, sex, or whatever else. Sadism, where the authority just really gets off on causing pain to other people, physical, psychological, or both. Or utopianism. They really, really think they know what's best for you. And they believe, they actually believe whatever uh, messed up scheme, whatever they're doing is going to make the world a better place. I can't, I mean, that last one really just like sticks out for me personally, um, but I don't know. Yeah. Sort of like a, we see. know what's best for you. Yeah. Uh, daddy's knows best type, type attitude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. I could see no, that, or I could also see absolutism or fear. I don't see greed or sadism. Greed or sadism doesn't yeah. really seem to fit this. <laughs> Absolutism a, or the last one, sure. So absolutism would be like, we don't care about you, we just need you to obey. And utopianism would be like, we kind of want the best for you, but you're gonna have to do everything we say. So like, there's a subtle difference mm -hmm. between the utopians actually believe that they're the good guys and the absolutists don't really care about being the good guys, they just want their will done. Then that's like the idea. utopianism. Yeah, I like the idea of the authority being something more relatable, something more yeah. human. Utopia doesn't fit that better. Otherwise, I think fear or greed, I like those, but it seems like a uh, consensus we're reaching is leaning towards utopianism or absolutism. And I, I think uh, I think to me, utopianism sounds more interesting. Yeah. Uh, absolutism sound, is, is, that sounds like we're just going to have fun bashing up it against doesn't that. Mean that you, if, by it. if you choose utopia, it doesn't mean that, that they're going to be less bad. It just means that they believe themselves to be so good mm -hmm. that they're that's, almost immune to criticism. I'm okay. That's it's bad that's with worse. a friendly face yeah. painted on it. And that, that is horrifying. Uh, and hugs. That, that is more horrifying, horrifying to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the difference. Do you want to face like a raging dragon or an evil lich wizard? Not, but evil lich wizard sounds way more scary because they're more intelligent and less beastly it depends sure. on your dragons never mind uh, but, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're seem... I, think, I think we kind of coalesced around utopianism okay. uh, so things that knows what's best for you and really believes whatever scheme is going to make the world a better place so that's good i think i think those are those are relatable things next we're going to move on and we're going to choose the victim uh the victim is whatever the authority is killing whatever it's consuming or ruining or perverting or feeding on uh and the following uh, are our choices for freedom, uh, whether it's killing freedom of choice, speech, religion, press, movement, all those things uh, the authority hates. Uh, history, where it destroys published books, uh, it, it basically rewrites history and, and, and makes it the way it wants to be. Uh, humanity, chews up people, either kills them, shreds their sanity, enslaves them, so on. Nature, uh, the authority commits crimes against nature, world, animals, plants, and natural processes, or progress. The authority wants to prevent social change or stop technology from moving forward, or at very least, the wants to stop other people from getting technology. So, and then Robert just put the uh, the different choices there in the chat so you can see them. I think freedom or progress might either be the best choice for this sort of um, vice, just because it's a kind of we're protecting you but really we're slowly taking your freedoms under the guise of a happy fucking smile like just slowly taking your freedoms from you once one by one and here have your happy pill yeah. don't forget mm -hmm. to take your bliss 
sort of thing. <laughs> uh, I I like history or or freedom. History to me is like a big deal because like you know it's it gets rewritten like every you know every couple of decades and 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 you lose like stuff or even like with literature like you know they won't let people read to you know. Like to kill a mockingbird in school because you know sure. it has the N word in it now. So like you know, like so like things that are being pushed aside, both like in a in a sorry, the, that that really gets to me. Especially I can like see that. You know, yeah. writing rewriting histories uh, too, like really bothers me a lot. Like you know this whole. So anyway, I I, I was a history minor, so it kind of makes me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could see that's that like going a... along with a lot of the gaslighting, abuse of power, the um, the louder wins pack mentality. Like history is written by the winners, kind of thing. So if if so like the history is being erased, we, we do have a clear winner in the chat. Oh yeah, progress. Like everyone is basically crying out for progress being I think, the victim. I think I'm gonna throw my hand with progress as well. Okay. That sounds like yeah, progress. Yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to easily... like stop people from being able to express themselves and be, you know, become who they could be in some way. And, and you know, also in a utopia, aren't you already like the best you can possibly be? So... Oh, right. <clears throat> oh. So, so it, it's also, it also should be said that it doesn't mean that the authority won't also strike out against freedom and history and humanity, yeah. but their primary motivation is, is seems like we're going to say it's, a, it's against progress. So they're going to be attacking anything that's going to change. If they're perfect, then any change mm -hmm. is going to be... Can we, uh, what's wrong with the way things are now, right? Can yeah. we roll history into that? Kind of like progress and history? Like, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it wants to prevent progress, but then it also wants to edit history to... Yeah, that's, there, what, that's what I'm saying. I think, I think that there's, it's all going to be part of that. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I think that that's a... That, I like that. I, don't, I like it. All right. So progress is the main um, one, and then history is kind of like a secondary, like rewriting of stuff. Sure. Uh, the next thing is, is the history uh, the, because the history is dangerous for us. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, so they so like if they want to, it's like this, right? Like so, uh, if you are perfect, you want to prevent um, dudes from kissing other dudes, right? So like that's that's what your main victim is. But also you rewrite history to say that well, this has never been done before. And like, you know, dudes have never ever kissed dudes, so therefore it's not gonna be okay, right? So like, it's it's both and, but the primary thing is we want things to stay the same and we'll do whatever we can to to stop that. And the one time um, that they did kiss each other, they were stricken down by God. <laughs> right, right, yes, yes, exactly. Uh, I remember that, that was, that was in our history books, right? Yeah, yeah, um, so, it says so, so right yeah. there. <laughs> The next thing we're going to choose Adam and Steve. Is, is the, uh, the visage, which uh, is the form the authority takes. This is the face it tells you, uh, the face that it wears um, that's telling you exactly what you need to do. Uh, so this could be either corporate, which is big business, small business, uh, or street gang, or interdimensional mega corporation. Um, personal, which is basically <laughs> just one guy. Uh Maybe a charismatic person who you know gathers bullies around them to oppress you uh, could be religious. Uh, this person has a direct line to God or Heinlein or Adam Smith or whoever. <laughs> or uh, Heinlein. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the authority operates with unquestioned received wisdom, and disagreement is a moral failing. Failing uh, the state. The authority is a group of bandits that you've chosen to let bleed you slowly. The holder of legitimate power or systemic which is basically processes, cultures, civil paranoia, life-defining test regimens, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, system is a little bit harder to grab a hold of, to be honest with you. Um, I'm kind of thinking religious or state seem to be the most fitting. Yeah. I'm thinking... Be like, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was thinking more religious, but I keep getting like this image of like Comstock from Bioshock Infinite, where it's perfect, it's great, we don't need to change, listen to Comstock, he'll lead the way. And it's all religious surrounding it, but right, really, like when you take a look at the alley, religion, but it's not, yes, it's not yes. like spiritual. It's just it's a religion of something. It's else. a religion of of uh, <laughs> capitalism. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's, that's Bioshock. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a and Rand is is the prophet. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! Right, what do you, <laughs> what do you, I forgot uh, that. What do you think? Uh, remember, at, remember, like, like Atlas shrugged, like the Atlas. Oh yeah. All over in Bioshock. I Literally, didn't that like the ago. turning point of all capitalism <laughs> was Ayn Rand. Fuck her so hard. Uh, <laughs> I hate her. There you go. There you go. Uh, what do you think? Uh, we have one for state in the chat, um, and I heard a sort of half-hearted religion uh, from Katie. I like this. I like state kind of more, um, only because there's you get a lot more options with uh, with a state, you know, because that that the religion can be a part of it, and the politics can be a part of it, the economics can be a part of it, because you know the the state is the one that's leading the utopia. So yeah, and again, like these can all be be yeah. um, tied up together, right? So you could definitely have civil religion as a part of the state. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't hear anybody else I, offering yeah. up anything. I mean, I'm I'm okay with religious. I'm also okay with state. I feel like, kind of looking at all of this, the the false trust taking advantage of vulnerability is leading me a little more towards that religion thing. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. And with a smile. Yeah. yeah. The abuse of power. It and pack the it. good but twisted. <laughs> the yeah. scapegoating. That's huge. <laughs> okay. All right. I could see. I could see it being both. I think states also do the exact same thing. Um, For me, it seems equally represented in both, just in different ways. <laughs> so why don't we? Why don't we? For now, just put religion slash state and a question mark on it, and then we'll just. So kinda... why don't? Why don't we? Why don't we do this instead? Instead of the the trappings, right? Religious versus state. Why don't we say? Why don't we ask the question? Where are they getting their authority from? Are they getting their authority because we have somehow given it to them, right? Like, and that's the state where, like, we sort of kind of agree. Like, we elected by, them. <laughs> right, or something like that, and just kind of got out of hand, or, like, they're snowing us. Or did they? do they get it from some external uh, source? Kind of like Book of mm. Eli, they, they all surround the power of the book. The book is what gets them the power. And right, I'll be exactly. All. So, like, th- is everybody... Is everybody uh, does everybody kind of think this is the right thing and so the people gave them the power or is this uh they've taken power because of some external source mm. i Ooh, actually don't have a preference i think they're both great so um I... yeah because like um, like something like uh like handmaid's tale like it's both like it's yeah. it's, the state it's religion and state but see yeah, like they use but religion more. as yeah. a crutch it's it is state that went in there because yeah. the whole reason that that society exists was because women weren't pre- reproducing and so the government kind of came like this this section of government stepped in and they used religion as that crutch to be able to propel them into that but they so didn't... maybe state with the guise of religion on the forefront Robert yeah. says, if you're stuck, pick the one that pisses you off the most. Uh, I, I, <laughs> oh, then that would be religion. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's about equal, but maybe a little heavier on the religion side, because... Yeah. We can go with that. I'm good with there it. There we go. Okay. I, th- I hear I hear religion is, is coming up. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, you know... <laughs> it'll be fun. You, you um, worship the almighty dollar, man. Yeah, we'll come up, we'll come up with, uh, <laughs> with all that. With, with cool. the... Um, yeah, we'll come up with with more specifics later. Uh, what about the need? And for this, the um, in order for characters to be interesting, they have to want things. The authority is a character, so uh, it has needs and it has wants. So the need is a sentence or two of what the authority desires and what it would do if uh, what would it, what it would do to the world if you, the youthful offenders, weren't there to stop it. Um, it shouldn't be something passive like it wants things to stay the same, which is the danger for. Uh, for having progress as a, as a, uh, um, as a, as a victim. victim. Thank you. Uh, so we can't just have things stay the same. Like, what does it want to actually have happen? Like, what if it if needs to destroy? To Sorry. What if it needs to destroy anything new that shows up as a threat? Or any, actually rather, what if it needs to destroy anything in the history or any new innovations or progress that might threaten it? Okay. Ooh, or maybe they have to go and like destroy the patent office. The blessed like, future really of- Yeah, like, um, you just go in and you destroy all the patents because then nobody can go in and, and look at the 
so that means you can't innovate off of them. So like, have, like, maybe maybe like okay. That's so like, like an extremely specific thing. That's just where my head. <laughs> so like let's let like I guess maybe let's let's contextualize this right. Like we have this utopian religion that has taken control, right? It's become an authority in some scale, right? Yeah. Right. And their main enemy, and the thing that they that they kill a bunch of is progress already meaning that they are keeping things exactly the same. So what is it that is threatening them so bad that they have to continue to do that? Like Science. That's... <laughs> Science? Flat earthers. <laughs> Science. <laughs> oh yeah, like so so what if what if their um what if their desire to kill progress and to keep things the same is going to prevent the world uh, or, or this society or whatever from actually saving themselves from something worse, right? Like what if there's something on the horizon that, that, that the young adults or the young, the young adults, the youthful yeah, offenders that's... see, right? That's gonna happen. And if we don't progress to a certain level, then something bad's gonna happen, right? Yeah, what if Does that make sense? Yeah. Um... Like maybe there's something on the horizon that you guys see uh, but they that they are like I mean like think in our world right like it's global warming Food right shortages. we're like, we to stop but everybody else is like nah it'll be all right fam like don't <laughs> worry it'll, it's gonna be fine like, for us yeah food that shortages it's fine <laughs> it's fine the lesser rank and file will starve off and there'll be plenty of food for their higher rank and file food, food Medic- shortages we've got a couple medicine. medicines there yeah uh, yeah but what about uh, disease stuff. like they they believe uh, maybe there's even stuff written in about plagues happening and striking down the unbelievers, but really Robert there's actual oh. diseases that could be solved or by, you know, learning how to cure them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandy. Yeah, they want, they don't want to create the medicine because the plague is doing its thing. Ah, uh, it's the rapture. The, it's it's the, the rapture. rapture. Ah. The plague well, they, is striking the non-believers. That's, okay. that's one of the things they use to discredit, uh, essentially, people who might be enemies or potential martyrs that would criticize them, is they have them stricken down with the plague, and therefore God must have decided they deserved yes. to die. And they were speaking unworthy things. But they don't necessarily know the cure, but they know how to inflict it. So they want they want to stop people from solving the plague or from from uh, uh, curing the plague, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I like that. And and the plague when people die, it's it's because they're they're being judged, right? Or they're, they're, sinners. they're evil or they're sinners. Okay. Oh. All right. That's ew and gross and awful. <laughs> I love it. You could do like the black pa- plague uh, plateau says that you know a plague that's just an aggressive form of cancer. So. You know, no chemo for people. Right. No medicine for people. Right. So, so we're going to be a bunch of doctors. Right? We're, we're going to be the kids who are like Doogie Howser. Right. <laughs> what if like, Punk-ass. what if the plague was like a second AIDS or something where like we're all doing something that we find to be, you know, normal and we get fucked up because of it and then nobody is refused nobody in the the authority is refusing to help us because we deserved it uh okay i think i like that um so you guys have the plague is that what you're saying um maybe maybe or we know people that have it but like hey we got a stream boss killed we actually didn't we didn't get to talk about the stream boss so um why don't you mention that yeah, so uh, one thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be manipulating the struggle table a little bit, which we'll get into. But essentially, uh, when we are going to be in a kind of in a situation, an altercation with the authority, um, every time that the stream boss is killed, the stream boss gets to decide whether they want to support the authority or the click. Um, if you support the authority, they will get to block us from landing on a number of their choice. Or rather, from blo- from landing on a number that we need to win, and then if you support the click, then we get to re-roll a number to prevent us from landing on a number that will that will cause us to lose. So yes, we haven't explained the the way that the game works yet, but essentially, um, it's going to be like like craps uh, crap, craps rolling, um, and the odds will determine uh, who 
who gets to win each scene. Um, and essentially, if you if you defeat the stream boss and you choose the authority, I will get to uh, make them re-roll any successful uh, rolls. And if you choose to side with the youthful offenders, then you will give them a re-roll on any bad rolls that didn't go their way. So who mm -hmm. defeated the stream boss this time? Psychotron. Mm -hmm. So Colin, he's just like, I was just resubbing. I don't want to take a side. <laughs> Resubs are awesome no. all the same. You can give Boop. both of us a reroll if you'd like. Hey, you Robert Bull likes one. this hack, so that means it's legit. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> so we, were, we were concerned. <laughs> yeah. So the, during, in the meantime, I've seen some really cool story ideas from the chat yeah. about the uh, and that might tie into our characters and what ties us together is that we were given the plague with an attempt to kill us in some way, but we've proven to be able to have, have been recovered from it or were oh. immune. Or maybe, maybe Ooh, we're the key that's... to curing it. Maybe. Yeah, that would be good. Oh, that is great. Yeah. Because if you guys were given the plague in order to kill you, but but you four have somehow survived it, maybe you actually in your blood or something have the key to antigen uh, to, right to, to overcoming and curing the plague that's so, neat like so that. jumping ahead and that's why the authority wants to get away with it or to do in with us right Wait, so so jumping yeah. ahead that means that that's our exploit isn't it yes like the thing that we uh, can no use that to... might just mean it could mean that's your exploit but it also could just mean that's that's what brought you together mm. uh, but that's a great idea that's a really I cool like idea it. i like it i like it a lot it makes so it gonna... extra dangerous, uh, <laughs> extra scary to the authority because um, if we can prove that we're immune, that like might give us some sort of authority, a religious authority, because God has chosen us to live. Um, but the society chose us to strike us down. down. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. So like it creates a problem because everybody who gets the plague is supposed to be a sinner, and and we got Die. the plague, therefore and you're that. sinners. And all of a sudden, they're, you're not dead. So, so if you if you live, that might mean that God is on your side or something, and that just that, that messes with their entire uh, belief system, and they can't they can't. Mm. And it undermines it. the authority. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh that's, man, that's cool. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna give a name and a description to uh, to this authority. So we're gonna put some some flesh on these bones. This utopian, uh, progress-hating, religious, plague-mongering authority. What sort of names and descriptions could we give? Oh, um, yeah. let's see. So, utopian religion. So, it's got to have like a. It's got to have a nice, catchy ring, right? Like, in the it's got to sound friendly. It's got to have like an ism. Something. It has to have an like ism. Reverend, reverend like something. Church, right? Church uh, of something yeah, or ism. What I was thinking about was maybe a, the, the church of all. Like, it seems to be inclusive, but it's also meant to be pervasive. Oh, the church of all kind of, like, almost, yeah. Church mm -hmm. of all. And then the church of all, the, or church of unity. I like church of all. Church of all has, like, this weird... Cult status sound. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't necessarily resemble anything too particular either. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Church of All. It's just vague uh, enough that everybody feels welcome and included, right? Without really knowing anything, without disclosing anything about like what they actually believe or, or do or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. you should feel included because you are, whether you want to be or not. Right. Hmm. Uh, unity of all. There we go. Palmer suggests. All right. So, what is it? Unity, unity of, of all. all. The unity of all. Mm -hmm. I like that. Unity of all. Yeah. 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 It gives gives us all sorts of different uh, possibilities for coming up with nasty nicknames for the authority figures that we don't like. <laughs> oh, uh, Robert makes a uh, good point. Uh, understanding what the plague does might be something good to kind of touch on for detail. Oh, yeah. Like, is it kind of like a wasting plague? Obviously, it has to be something visible so that when people see uh, the Church of All or the Unity of All strike somebody down, they become oh. afflicted with pox or something visible to show that what? God has chosen <laughs> them to die. What if it's like super leprosy? 
Super Ro leopard. Robert really <laughs> wants us to have superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe we. Well, we do have a superpower. We we beat the disease, so. But maybe maybe but by that eating is our the disease. Superpower. Maybe by beating the disease, we gain. Right? We've unlocked a teeny, a teeny tiny superpower. Yeah. That would make night vision interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> disease makes parts of your body rot and fall off. And you essentially rot from the inside out eventually, but only after you've lost your limbs and is it kind of like kind of like tuberculosis, except for everything, not just your lungs? Oh man! What, yeah. Evolve. What if what if you what if you just bleed like from your pores? Oh, oh kind like, of ooh, like um, um, like a, a seriously from the eyes. oh like from stigmata, stigmata. Yeah. right? Yeah, like just jinx, something where it's yeah, like, Ebola you know. kind of de disease where right, everything stigmata, just yeah, where it's just like oh, eyes stigmata. and ears and like well, that's what Ebola causes, right? Like like their their eyes get like really red around here and like they and they just bleed Ooh, you know so yeah. so you guys could like maybe and you call, like, have like the the red stuff but not if, bleeding anymore. Uh, what if we tie into like a uh, actual some actual religion stuff where one of the things that happens is like when one of your organs gives out it kind of <laughs> blows out and causes a, a nasty even open wound on your side Ooh. and uh, oh. they kind of taken that to signify the piercing of Christ's. Oh, the side shit. dead on the cross. <laughs> Getting dark. Like the first sign should be like the blood tears. So the tears of unity are what they're called. Like the so tears like of you're, unity. You're suffering. Yeah. You're suffering like Jesus because you you won't accept uh, you won't accept God or something like that. Like that's, yeah. that's awfully specific. Listen. But if you guys want to do that, we'll do it. Uh, um, well, like God is punishing you with with the things that that were supposed to be just Jesus, but you're just such evil people that he's going to yeah. give them to you. Too. <laughs> or it might, might show up in different ways, like people get nasty sores on their hands, almost yeah. as if, uh, you know, where the nails would have gone through, or... Um... What do you guys think about that? That sounds particularly Christian. It does, uh, yeah, it sounds a little, maybe, for unity of all, that might be a little too Christian if we're trying to... You want to keep it kind of, like, all-inclusive yeah. and vague, right? Bottom, out of the <laughs> eyes. In, in the mouth. Yeah, and necrotic necrotic necrotic. What is that? That sounds disgusting. I'm gonna Google it. Don't Google that. Please died. don't Google that. No, no, it's, no, 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 no. no. Don't, no, no, it's no. no. It's, it's necrosis of. Oh God. Uh, so yeah, necrosis like, of a, spe a maybe, special. Maybe places. just bleeding from the eyes and stuff. I could, and then like just your. Like I don't know. I think like maybe a couple different stages, right? So like if you guys can reflect a certain like stage one, like if you guys can have some mark on you. Right, like that. You, that says you had the plague, but without all of the what? the death stuff, that would be something kind of fun too. What if her eyes are like really, really red, mm -hmm. Ooh, like yeah. beyond like, bloodshot, bloodshot red? Yeah. They're so red. anybody who's a, in, infected maybe gets like the blood eyes, right? Yeah. And then, right. then you start, then your organs start failing and your skin starts falling off and. But since we survived, there. we just have a constant ring of you just, just have, completely like, yeah. bursted capillaries around our eyes. She's got Ooh. red, red eyes. And I'm gonna have to remember that for my makeup next time we play. I do have a really pigmented red. <laughs> Eyeshadow. Um, okay, so Stop. we've got the unity of all. Um, how how broad is this is this group? Is this a a national group? A local group? Worldwide, or, man. Triple A Corp. Come on. It's the, the unity of all. It has to be everyone. That's true. Yeah. This is okay, this so is the gotta... This is where like <laughs> all of the world's religions have finally somehow come to a summit and said, "All right, we got this now. We solved it. We are now the unity of all." All right. All right. We're <laughs> doing it. Worldwide religious oppression. Got it. <laughs> um now we are going yeah. to choose uh, a rating for the game. Um, so, uh, Miss Bet, you suggest that we use the uh, ratings for like movies in America, but we can we can fiddle with those or, or use them or not. With um, all the blood that we've got going, we're already R, setting ourselves at R. Yeah. yeah, I've got a viewer discretion is advised tag. <laughs> like we're good, we're good. So we're going, we're going R. Is there anything that either those of us playing or maybe even the um, those watching, is there any areas that we need to stay away from? Yeah. Any anything that makes anybody physically uncomfortable, seriously, let us know now so that we can avoid it and make this mm -hmm. an enjoyable stream for not only ourselves but for your wonderful audience. Yeah. Yeah. Or if it happens and you're uncomfortable with it, 
say something and we can <laughs> definitely redirect because we mm -hmm. want everybody to, to have fun and not to be uh, uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, yep. My personal gigs is I'm probably going to stay away from uh, from graphic sex or for with, with just um, gratuitous gore. I think that's those are my limits uh, at the moment. Uh, and I'm gonna try to be very sensitive to those of you who have told me beforehand about what particular things you're sensitive to. But uh, chat, if you have anything that you want to stay away from, hit us up. Uh, next up, we have systems of control. Now, this is the oh. this is a neat thing where each one of our youthful offenders is going to choose a system of control that the authority uses to keep everybody down. Um, and basically, this is. Um, I'm going to start with Cliff. You're going to choose the first one. These can be um, technological, uh, like like implanted ID tags, or they can be social, which means like you know, like like maybe families are illegal. Um, uh, anything that the uh, that the authority would use uh, to empower them. Uh, and make the world that that we're playing in different from the world that we live in right now, right? So science okay. fiction type stuff is fine. Um, tells you exactly how the authority fucks with your life. Um, it's not too terribly sci-fi, but maybe a little bit here. But how about um, there's a mandatory <clears throat> church attendance. And okay. it's a time that you're supposed to show up. You register for your particular church. You're supposed to show up there at a specific time every week. It's not always the same for everyone because you know different people have different jobs necessarily. But there's enough to where you're supposed to show up. You're scheduled to show up, and uh, your ID is checked at that point. If you've been up to anything that the state doesn't like, they can grab you. They can inject you with their disease, or you know make you disappear, or do whatever thing if they want to find you. And if you don't show up, if you miss one of those. Then people come looking for you. Mm. Okay, so they come looking for you, or or like, what's the consequence? What about like a dock in citizen points? Like you have kind of like citizen points that you have to maintain above a certain level, and if you fall below a certain threshold, the authority is going to come oh after you. Oh my god, is well, that like that ties in a lot to toxic harassment <laughs> via anonymity, yeah. where like you have yeah. like it reminds me of that. Um, uh, Black Mirror. There the was that Black one episode, episode where they episode. had like yes, the, the one with system. the rating, the personal rating. That fucking episode gives me the heebie-jeebies. I <laughs> that, that sounds like a different system of control, though, entirely. Uh, but mm. as far as the, the church attendance goes, if you like miss one, I think they would like show up and ask ask about you. They'd be calling your phone, uh, setting up a meeting to talk with you and find out what's the trouble, what's troubling mm. you. If yeah. it was beyond that, you'd like start suffering like major fines. Eventually, some sort of um, some sort of detainment uh, to help okay. you get back on track. Public shaming, uh, so probably too. Mandatory, shaming. mandatory church attendance. This is a way of just of keeping track uh, of you and and making. And this is a little bit of like a historical revisionism, right? Because everybody goes to church. What's wrong yes. with you if you don't? Right, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it's sort of a. a, a gradually escalating horribleness the more you miss the worse your attendance is we've got some good stuff in chat too um like citizen points could be like another system of control the plague mm -hmm. itself could be one of those systems of control we've talked about that already um somebody mentioned a have? tithe so targeted uh, plagues is what you're saying like the like the the church or the unity of all actually does have control of the plague and they yes. yeah targeted yeah. attacks yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Hashtag. Against <laughs> the people that aren't going, like the people that get low points. Um, I saw somebody right, so... mention something about a tithe. So some percentage of your income um, is donated to the Church of Unity or the Unity of All without your consent. It's automatically oh, yeah. docked from it's your It's a tax pay. deduction. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. So, that's, that's intense. Okay, so why don't we why don't we do this, Katie? Why don't why don't you go next? All right, then I'm gonna go with um, Plateau of Lang's uh, suggestion of your 10% of your income is you build the wall, but in technicality, let's just say it's a tight, the 10% tight, kind All of right, like so um, how they tithing, have that's how they get their money. They just, mm -hmm. they just do it. And all oh. corporations are on board <laughs> with it. You work with any reputable public company. 
like even your typical let's just say grocery store like Kroger or Meyer or something like that they automatically take 10% off your pay yeah. okay automatically uh, like they have their hands another one Which tattoos one? for every sin that you commit oh <laughs> And we're starting to sound a little like uh, the Church of Latter-day Saints there, because every mole is technically sin that shows up on your body in hell, and you get your type. Oh my and... goodness. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, next up, Cassie, why don't you choose one? So the one that I've been, like, fixated on is is the, uh, um, the confessional stuff, because we talked about how, you know, you the bullies will get close to you and find out intimate things about your life and then air them in public. What happens if you do your confessional, but it's completely public? Publicized? Oh! Like, 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 it, like it makes the fucking news public kind of stuff. Like, they stop everything. It's like, oh, on today's confessional series, you know, and they, all of the people that did their confessional. What, what closer. if, what if, if you tell, if you tell them somebody else's sin, then you get like more get citizen points, up, right? So that way, like you, <laughs> nobody, nobody wants to ever confide in anyone, yeah. Because you're always afraid that somebody's going to tell your sin. So and it's an inverted on confession. That. You don't yeah. go to confess your sins; you go there to confess other people's sins, Gosh. so that you can get a but, boost but, in points. But also, like confession is like encouraged, mm -hmm. but also punished, and also, I mean, like so that like, that's that's a cool confession seems. Uh, really perverse in this in this setting. Yeah. Um, confession. So confession goes. Especially both. and especially if you know if you're required to go to church like every, on you know every week like you know some sort of required confessional too. And if you don't show up, then that means obviously you're hiding something. Yeah. What what if you have to confess something every week and it's either yours or somebody else's? <gasps> so you're always on the lookout. For everybody yes. else's trap. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's yes. cool. I think that's really gross. <laughs> and that kind of plays back <laughs> into the people constantly like wanting you to open up to them so that they can take your your faults right. and everything that's right. wrong with yeah. you, so they can turn it into their confession for the week. And so you're like never, ever, ever wanting to wanting to get close to anybody because you just know that they're going to use that stuff against you, yeah. uh, which is another way of like of like keeping people separate and and not and not together that's oh, awful. that's rough and obviously we can like totally if, rule the world with this stuff guys <laughs> it's, it, but it's, it, and you, you you don't know who's confessed your thing so it could have right. been anyone that you talk to your trusted right. friends could be actually like your worst enemies and oh, suddenly so your citizen so points dip yeah. and then you're like the hell Oh, it's God, gonna be so good. Okay, and Oz, we've got one more from you. I mean, Take I'm just gonna, the, I'm gonna chat and no, and I'm gonna toss in the citizen go. points. We haven't really like, we didn't really put that down, and I think that's <sighs> integral here to. Uh, Can we okay. call them something else, like maybe piety points? Ooh, oh, yeah. that has yeah. a very yeah. RPG yeah. thing to it. Purity yeah. points. Purity points. Ooh. We could call it purity or piety or or purity whatever. point. Let's call it purity points. Or well, uh, hold on, because the yeah, because the is the concept of the points. We can call it points, right? Like we just call they would just call it purity, right? Like your purity purity ranking or your purity, purity blessing or, or your cleanliness or something. I want I, I want to call it a rating because I I imagine okay if the purpose of the confessionals is to grab information, then the purity rating has to be how pure you are purity levels a way yeah like looking back at that black mirror episode that one is to hold each other accountable in a public place right so like if you mm -hmm. aren't being pure so a purity rating then kind of like I, a star rating yeah oh yeah i know what, i know what you're talking about so, and then the, so it, it's like real time you're, it's like you're real time yelping points. each other yeah yeah of of your personality and then if you dip below a certain rating oh look at that you just got targeted by the by the uh what was it called what do we call the what do we call the plague? unity the of all no the play or, the the plague. We haven't we called the, the plague anything yet Pure it has ID. to have a nickname so oh a pure id pure i love it <laughs> pure fantastic. purity pure id pure id <laughs> perfect that's amazing <laughs> all right cool that's, uh, yeah. Oh, I love chat. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, and oh and so, God. no, I it was called something like red eyes or red the red um, 
Uh, the Tears of Unity. Like, Tears of Unity, like, that's what it's called. The, like, the, the first sign of you catching the plague is you get the um, stigmata in your eyes, so you get, like, the Tears of Unity coming down your face. The tears And of, and of course, yeah. Unity of All is super sad about it because look yeah. at this look at this citizen that could have been so much more. We all we cry for We could have saved him. you. For we could have <laughs> saved you. <laughs> oh, oh. Can, we, can we call can we call the plague like when you see people get the plague, can we call that the wages of sin? Right? Like that's what's what you get for sinning, right? Is you get you get this plague. Yeah, you've got the wages. Oh, especially if you, you sin big enough. Yeah. Go big or go home. Or, or what was you just said? It was something else, Oz. What did you say it was? Uh, the tears, the of tears of unity. Did somebody say that? Tears uh, of unity. Um, tears of unity is like the first sign, though, that you're starting to get the plague, and then it slowly yeah. progresses into worse symptoms. I would say, but, yeah, I would say like plague, overall. Sorry, go ahead. The plague is the wages of sin, but one of the signature symptoms has is the it, name the, the tears, tears of, unity. of unity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that's at All that right. point, once you have that, you're doomed, right? And everyone knows it, and so everyone cries for you, quote unquote. Yeah. Oh. And ostracizes <laughs> you because you're fucking dark. And 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 how and how odd that everybody, uh, when their pure ID goes low enough, those are the people that get the the, the plague. Which is how, why they how keep odd and convenient. That's why you have to keep your pure ID up because clearly yeah. your levels of purity affect your. F your susceptibility to the plague and that's how the re the religious unity of all has like the moral high grounds like it just yeah. happens <sighs> like we have a direct connection to god via this pure id like we've we've systemized <laughs> god and this is this is where you fall. systemize god into the internet oh my oh. god so <laughs> so i'm gonna god's say now watching you on facebook Oh my god. I'm gonna say this now. I get to choose an exploit that you, as the youthful offenders, are going to be able to use uh, against the authority. So I'm gonna go with um, with Robert's suggestion here, and I'm gonna give you guys superpowers. Not real big superpowers, but I'm going to say that surviving the plague has changed you a little bit, just enough to give you a sort of edge. So you guys are going to tell me what your very small uh, superpower is. What makes you a little bit different? Mm. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to think on this for a bit. Ugh. Yeah, I want to I want to kind of hold off until like we're we're in. the Oh, trenches we, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. But yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll write that down as a character. note, right? Okay. Like we have to pick a superpower. So the next thing that we're going to do is create the cast of characters. This is the click that is going to be that we're going to be following as they struggle against the authority. Uh, um, the yeah. Opti, sorry if I might interrupt. Uh, Robert brought up a important point in chat. Uh, does the tithe affect the youthful offenders at all? Like I would how say at the get go, I would say yes. I would say everybody because it affects our families and keeps it. Your families them. would probably would probably be the right way to go because if, yeah. if you are if you are not eighteen yet, then I, I suppose you're you're still um, you're still under your parents' authority. Right? Yeah, right. No, and, and they're still spiritually. We're not going to be starting this as like orphans. We're still families that are you, still. You trying could, to float. and and we'll get there. You could be an orphan, but we'll, right. we'll get there. Uh, so the first thing we're going to talk about is what drew you together and why do you stick together? We've already kind of touched on that a little bit. Yeah, I think what we, you are, uh, yeah. we kind of pre-settled on is that we're all survivors of the plague. Who shouldn't and somehow have. we found each other through our mandatory church meeting. Yeah, we were yeah, all probably like, like kidnapped or something and we were in the same facility and we all survived it. And yeah. somehow or maybe managed they to brought escape. us together. Maybe they brought us together after we all survived it. That's what I was thinking. After we survived and shouldn't have been, we've all been captured. Uh, maybe even to the point where our first episode is us escaping capture, or maybe we've already escaped together. Yeah. And we're on the run, we're on the lam. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, so... Uh, Scrim makes a good point. Um, tithing could also be, uh, you know, tithing time. So, you know, oh, volunteering yeah. and stuff. Ooh, oh yeah. yeah, so maybe you guys have to give uh you know if whatever you can't your, pay. your they'll they'll say your time, talent, or treasure. Whatever yes. you can give, you've gotta you've gotta give something that, that lives up to whatever because, the equivalent of ten percent of income is. Because the unity of all understands that not everybody is financially 
here, so we accept all donations in all form. Whatever you can give to everybody else, you're doing your part for the unity of all. This is so oh, interesting. Are you, are you doing your part for the unity of all? Uh, do your right. part. Right, yes. How, how are you Don't doing? Don't cry your years of tuni- unity today. We do not want to lose you as a part of our Cassie's collective. Cassie's having a panic attack, attack right now. <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's here's what we're gonna do. We are going to make um, we're gonna make eight different characters or eight different sort of um, ideas. We're just gonna throw out the different kinds of characters that we might expect to see in this world. So go ahead and start brainstorming. What type of characters would we want? To, would we be the the rebellious ones here? Obviously, um, we want somebody that's kind of sciency that's in there. The person that knows that this plague is BS and there is a freaking cure out there, and fuck the authority for spreading it. We know there's a fucking cure and it's in us, and fuck them for keeping us down with it. Yeah. yeah so the the scientist, right, who's just like this religion stuff. This is all just horseshit. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> all right. Definitely someone that has a. Pan- Sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say like the the history buff, especially you know when they're okay. I I think that like them knowing like when things have changed and how they changed, so they can kind of take advantage of like previous iterations of whatever they're claiming is true. Hmm. <laughs> I was oh, say, Robert! Robert hmm. has one. Like, what if we had uh, the good version of this of this religion? Like somebody oh. who like was like anti this group, but also like religious in some okay. connected way. I was gonna um, I was gonna bring up the the kid, sort of similar, the kid of like someone whose parents are all in on this and they're just like, why am I like, what is up with you guys? Why can't you? Oh my gosh. Be- oh, that kid, I would feel so bad for that kid because that means that his, par- his parents are either number one, questioning their faith, or two, they've completely like cut that kid out of their life because, you know, he got yeah. the plague. So, so maybe like a well connected, he's she- well connected. He has got connections be- through these so, parents. So right? the, the, uh, what, what, how would you how would you say that? The privileged the, the, kid? The, one of the privileged le- kid? Yeah, the privileged the fortunate kid. Fortunate son? Mm-hmm. Yes. To quote CCR again. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> <You're> brutal tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. What else? What a a rapper, rapper that thinks the authority. A rapper who thinks the authority are aliens. Oh man. Just, just somebody who's just off to the side, like a rapper who's like, nah, these guys are straight whack. <laughs> <laughs> and he's always going around make, making rap stuff. There's rapper. only one thing that explains us adopting these strange beliefs that so pervasively in the world. That's that's alien intervention. Oh my god, aliens. <laughs> alien. yeah, so he's, so he's like the aliens guy mixed with a rapper. I love that. That's good. Um, How about the is, typical... The oh, yeah, what's chat got to say? Oh, that uh, was Plateau of Lang who's his... Oh, that's cool. Thanks, oh, the Plateau. parents are constantly confessing the kid's sins. Oh, oh my, my god! god. The, oh god. the scapegoat, right? He's the scapegoat. He's the one who's, <sighs> who's shunned so his parents can continually be good. Oh, that's awful. That is Ooh, horrible. a graffiti artist. Sounds fun. I like graffiti artist. Detori- kind of like a Banksy-style person yeah. that just personifies the authority sin in artwork everywhere throughout their perfect utopia. Mm-hmm. Or the kid at school that everybody tries to friend, but really they're just trying to get that over-trusting kid to be their friend so that they can get their confessions in for the week. Oh yeah, the gullible kid. The gullible kid that thinks maybe this time they'll be friends with me, but really yeah. they're just trying to get another confession out of them. Maybe this time it'll be different. Oh, man. I want someone oh, like okay. angry. I want someone that just does not give a shit about their rating. And like, they're just, they are yeah. just a contrarian, you're still thinking of that Black Mirror episode where by the end she gives zero fucks and just starts I... pounding the fucking flask. You know, I didn't, but yes. <laughs> oh, man. So zero Crazy fucks old given. hermit doesn't work because we're supposed to be all useful offenders. Or the staunch atheist. The staunch atheist? That's a, yeah, Robert's got that, put that one in the chat. Oscar Merva's got a twist for the, uh, for the um, uh, preacher of the true faith. They, oh they, gosh, have, they have they have some sort of older, uncorrupted uh, version of the uh, of the Bible. They found the King James Bible. Text. 
<laughs> oh, what if that's right, so, what if that's rolled into the history buff kid? Right? That's true. Yeah. So so here's here's what we do now, right? We've got a, a sort of grouping, uh, the scientists, the good religious kid, the historian, uh, the fortunate son, the the alien rapper. Uh, the scapegoat, the graffiti art, the artist, and the staunch atheist. Now we're going to take all of that, and we're going to create just four of them. Okay. okay? We're gonna, we're gonna, we can mix, mix, uh, we can mix and match them together, uh, and and kind of pull and pull and 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 do whatever we want. But we kind of come up with uh, out of, out of those, we've got to mush them down into four. That was um, a lot of words to say. Mm, mush them down into four. I can I vote which one that I want. Yeah, mm -hmm. just just start claiming it. I want the scientist that's the starch, staunch atheist and is fucking angry, thinking and looking at all this is like this is horseshit. This is fucking science. I can fucking prove it. God damn go. it! What the fuck? So, the staunch <laughs> atheist scientist. Okay, love it. I, I really want to be. Um, gosh, I really want to claim his friend, just because it's like. Historian. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure exactly what I. I mean, Maybe the, the the fortunate son. You don't have to like mix and match them, and you can yeah, don't so, have to be stuck yeah, in this no, list no. either. So if yeah, you have some so other I, I, that you want to bring in, that's fine too. I think I definitely want to use the, <laughs> the, the historian one, especially like like the super book nerd, especially like if they're volunteering. Um, it, you know, includes like burning old copies of uh, the oh, of books that they've replaced, and so they're like reading through it as fast as they can before before they have to like throw it into the fire. Like, oh yeah, what if they're the, of... what if they're the the fortunate kid like who who gets access to all that stuff because their parents are throwing it away and yeah. it kind of runs through their house first and they've yeah. been reading it before they before they throw it away. That's kind of that's kind of where my where my head's at. I think that's that... that's neat. I like all right, what's next? Um, hmm. That's so neat. I like that. <laughs> I would love to... I'd love to do maybe... I'd like to try my hand at Graffiti Artist. Okay. Ooh. I wouldn't typically go for it, but I think I'm going to do it. I, I want to go for, like, a guy who um, is trying to... Has to sh like the only way to show people or to show people a message in this society is by throwing it on a wall and hit as many eyes as possible before it gets taken down. Ooh, I like that. All right. I and, think and they value purity and cleanliness so much that like it's it bothers them so much. Mm -hmm. The sterile, the sterile atmosphere can't really handle that level of disruption, and it really, really just messes with everybody. Oz is Miami Banksy. Yeah. Yeah. They're saying that, that you already have the fee, so. Exactly. Oh, man. I need to get a gas mask for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to grab any of those other ones, Oz? Or are you just going to fill out the graffiti artist? Uh, Well, I could also do. You don't I, have to. Just if, right. if nothing calls to you. What if you did now, the, the uh, aliens one, too? The, You're like my, also the rapper. The, the yeah. My problem aliens. is, like, I can't. I can't. Can't rap. pull that off. I wouldn't be able to pull yeah. that off. I would just, it, this yeah. would not be cool. So I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> but, I think uh, we're getting uh, some good ideas I think from I'm gonna superpowers, take... by the way. The... Oh, I have, yes. I have a superpower. Uh, go ahead, Cliff. I think I'm going to go ahead and actually take part of one. Okay. I yeah. am also not confident in my ability to represent a rapper, but I dig the believing that it's aliens. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull in something else. Like I'm like the equivalent of like a, a pirate podcaster. Ooh. I have these releases that I record, you know, video, audio, whatever, and yeah. I try to get it out there on the internet somewhere. But the state is always looking for these places to like delete and erase them. So they only go up for a short time, and it's hard for people to get them. So part of what I want to do is is get the message out, the truth. I mean, the part about the aliens, I don't go real strong with that because, you know, that's that's that's, that's for something that we have to listen to two or three episodes. <laughs> not, like, episode so you're like intro. you're like the anarchist Art Bell, who who's just like all these weird conspiracy theories, uh, but all of them are anti uh, are anti the uh, what do we call it the unity of all. Yeah. 
All right, we so believe, you're a, you're a... I believe, I fervently believe that the unity of all is the result of an attempt of aliens to invade and take over our culture. They just haven't, our planet rather, and they haven't revealed themselves yet. They've co-opted our religions to use against us, and uh, as a result, yeah, disorder conviction. Thank you. Alien belief is my disorder conviction. Certainly, that's a <laughs> oh, core that's... of it. <laughs> yes. But, yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. So we've got uh, the the atheist scientist. We've got the uh, fortunate historian. We've got a graffiti artist and the pirate radio slash podcaster. Oh wanna... wait, the aliens are on the way. They're going to invade us, but they've they've sent That's... whatever forces they could ahead of us because they want to make sure to destroy our ability to develop the science needed to defeat them. Oh my god! They have the cure, not silence. Science. The aliens have the cure. The, the aliens are gonna take us over if we don't oh progress to oh <laughs> Okay, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I want to deepen my character a little bit. I just don't yeah. want to just be the graffiti artist. I also want to be the scapegoat. I want to be that bad kid that like uh, the parents just keep using because it's easy. It's so we, easy. He, he, he's not even a bad kid. He's just a kid, and his parents keep throwing him under the bus. And like yeah. and now developed. and now look at me. This is where I've. Right. This is he's what just I've a gotten. normal kid who wants to live, and his parents just keep making up stuff or just pointing out every flaw. That he I'm has. pretty sure at that point I would be very pissed and I would still end up being a bad guy. I'm start, graffiti art. I'm graffiti. Into it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I so think... now we'll, we'll, go ahead. Sorry, no, oh, I was no, just thinking it... maybe you are an artist and and all of the stuff you're drawing now you now you're being forced to do like art that's uh authorized or approved by the state and so then you had to branch out, you know. Mm -hmm. So I can oh see my that. Gosh. I can see that. So now what we're going to do is you're going to choose a name uh, and age and sex. You can do this. We can do this now or we can do it after we've fleshed out the characters a little bit more. Do you want to name them after or before? Um, I've already got a name in my head right now. Mm. Okay, well, if, you, if you got a name, go ahead and yeah. go for it. It's going to be Alice because she can't believe she's jumped down this rabbit hole full of freaking idiots and trying to claw her way out of the other side of this wonderland. I've like, I've had this in my head since we started talking about all of this and I just feel it fits. Alice. All right. And how old is Alice? 12 to Alice, 17. Alice, she is 15. All right. And um, she was born female. So. All right. All right. Mm. What about our historian? Um... Gosh. You don't you don't have, to have a name yet? Yeah, I don't I don't have a name quite yet. <laughs> I'll think on it though. Okay. What about a graffiti artist? I don't have a name yet. I want okay. I needs to be something. I just know it needs to be something like really cool. And I I don't even think he would have like he would share his name. His real name probably sucks. Like it's probably something like Wilson. <laughs> um uh, no offense to anyone yet. named Wilson, but <laughs> Cliff, do you have a name yet? Hmm. Um, my first name, I think, is going to be Bell, as a nod to Art Bell. Nice. This is what everyone calls me as Bell. Um, I like it because it's a little unusual sounding as well. Um, I've been trying to think of some other, like, source of weirdo uh, stuff that I can uh, do a nod to for the last name. Uh, the only thing that's coming to me is Night Vale, so Bell Night Vale. That sounds a little cheesy. Um... But, well, and then, if, you, if you if you have a, a radio broadcast, then maybe that's what you call yourself. Yeah. This is Bell Night Vale. Or can I make a suggestion? Yeah. One yeah. of my favorite names that ever came up, and mind you, it's for a female character, but I think mm -hmm. it can fit in any gender application, is YT, which stands for Yours Truly, which I think on oh, like no uh, flash. yeah, bingo on on like a pirate radio sort of setting, kind of almost fits. Let's say Sorry, like whatever my saying. last name is, it's something boring. But uh, on the air, it's Bell Truth. Bell Truth. Yeah. All right. Uh, my self-inflicted uh, last name is Bell. Uh, I'll go with fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Next up, we're gonna choose convictions. Now we've talked about what convictions are, but the audience doesn't know or may not know. Um, convictions are basically what's at the core of your character. Um, this is what's important, reminds you how to play them, uh, and it's what you use in order to fight back against the authority. The first conviction that you're going to choose is the means. This is how you go about fighting the authority. You can be bad, cool, fast, smart, or tough. So bad is more of a 
uh, a stance and posture towards society. You're the outcast kid who just breaks the rules. Done. Uh, the cool. <laughs> you want to be that one? All right. Yeah. So bad. Um, you can be uh, cool, which is basically like you're just kind of the person who's always breaking ground and uh, and uh, making people feel important when you talk to them. You can I'm be gonna fast. Say cool if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with smart for Alice because smart for Alice. Yeah. And so that you I, we can double up. You can you can choose ones that other people have chosen already. But there's also fast, which is uh, agility, athleticism, or quick witted. And there's also tough, being able to dish out and take physical punishment. Tough buff, tough history buff. <laughs> <laughs> Beat um, people down with books, like literally. Right. But it could be smart too, uh, yeah. just smart in a different way than Alice. Um, let's or see, fast, I'm... quick thinking on your feet. Or... Yeah, I was. I'm. I'm thinking maybe fast or or. Maybe you had to be fast to grab those books as they yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. Fast reading, even maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think fast will will fit. I think that I think I'll use that. Okay, now all of these, uh, just for the audience, all of these sell out. Uh, so if you misuse these, um, as far as you know, going into the, um, uh, the the mechanics of the game, when you have to sell them out, bad becomes perverse, cool becomes trendy, fast becomes efficient smart becomes pedantic and tough becomes vicious and there will be opportunities for the characters to sell out if they are left with no other options and then they can no longer use that primary conviction they have to only use the perversion of that uh, conviction um the next up is the motive and rob put all the motives down there on the bottom um altruism which sells out to unctuous you uh you want to help people and unctuous is you want to help people in order to be seen helping people, which is just awful in this context. Um, optimism, uh, which sells out to cynical. Outrage, uh, you're just filled with pure righteous anger, which sells out to wrathful. You're just consumed with spite. Uh, pride, which sells out to arrogance. And thrills, uh, being addicted to um, uh, danger, which sells out to nihilistic, where nothing matters anymore and you don't give any fucks. Mm. I'm outrage taking, yeah i'm gonna take thrills outrage yeah that makes sense for alice outrage makes, makes <laughs> sense oscar what were you choosing thrills thrills yeah like he gets a certain high from like just putting this out there <clears throat> what are you yeah, that, go? yeah that's, that's good um what was that cliff I was, I was asking cassie which one she wants to go with because um, I'm, I'm torn between two different ones which ones are you thinking because i'm kind of like I'm either optimism or pride. Oh, oh yeah, I was thinking either optimism or altruism. Um, I think optimism might fit better for Cliff, just because the whole reason why he made this, your character has hold, made this whole radio, is you're hoping to get the message out. You want to believe if that. only you know people would know the truth. Exactly. We you know would overcome, if they just knew it, right? We, we, we would solve all the problems. They would I'm... stop believing all this crazy stuff and start saving the world. Never mind. Yeah, I really like pride. the idea of an optimistic pirate radio host. That's yeah. Yeah. what are you saying? <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm sucking with... up to the teacher. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Ken. I'm going with pride because, you know, I come from a very affluent, uh, respected family. Mm. So I know that I'm a worthwhile person. <laughs> yeah. So, I think that I think that like that was got this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Did everybody get a chance to choose theirs? Yep. All right. Next, we're going to move into. Um, and by the way, the motive is uh, basically um, what? What? Why are you doing this? Why are you rebelling? Uh, the The next up is the opportunity, which is. Um, what gives you the opportunity to uh, to fight the, the the authority? What sort of thing is going on in your life that makes you able to do what you're doing? I'm pretty um, sure I'm rich. Rich is one, yes. So rich uh, is wealthy, <laughs> able to buy yourself past restrictions, and that sells out to profligate, which essentially is wasteful um, and s splurging and and not not taking money into consideration at all, despite the fact that everybody else still has to. Um, there's also pretty, which sells out to vain. 
uh, basically people just think you're such an angel and you're so pretty and nice you could never do anything wrong. Uh, orphan, you don't have parents or your parents are zonked out and, and, oh. and out of it. Uh, you don't exist in official records or something like that. The authority doesn't necessarily recognize you. Um, that sells out to helpless. You, you've lost your sense of agency and, and you just don't feel like you can you can do anything. Um, there's Might sneaky change. which is really good at hiding your motives. Uh, really good about getting uh, not getting seen, which sells out to untrustworthy. Taking and that one. Trust, which is the authority believes in you. Uh, maybe your parents are trusted loyal agents and maybe you superficially fit the ideal. Um, and that sells out to believer where you start to actually believe a little bit at least a little bit in the system itself. So, um, so after you read Orphan, like I trusted kind of, but I, I feel like if we're starting at a point where we've all been sick and you know now maybe my character that my parents don't like come around because I was uh, uh, you know a sinner that you know they they can't look up to me or they can't they don't want to keep me as their own anymore. So maybe, maybe they, they use their influence to to pretend that you died. And yeah. they don't know this person who has the plague. You just you just don't exist anymore. Yeah. Because they, disowned. they, oh. mucked, they oh. mucked with the official wow. records to, to disown Yeah, you. I think that that sounds more sad than, than just being rich. <laughs> okay. I like that All one. Right. So maybe if you sell out, it'll be it'll be everybody discovering that, that you are actually that person. Ooh. Um, okay, What? who else? We've got pretty, rich, sneaky, trusted. I'm going trusted. Because okay. on the surface, I look like I'm just the smart average bookworm going to school, going to church, doing what they're supposed to. But really, deep down, I'm trying to prove that this is all a bunch of fucking horseshit. So question. Uh, and if you sell that out, then exactly. you start to actually, like, there's a crack in your... Yes. You start so to believe, I start oh, to believe that maybe there that. isn't a fucking cure. That maybe we really maybe, are all being struck down by maybe, some. Maybe this church is actually like. Uh, maybe they're onto something. Okay, that's weird. So oh, I have a question yeah, for you, Katie. Um, so yeah. if you were so trusted, why did they stab you with the plague? Um, because they had dis- Hmm, that's a good question. Maybe, if that became maybe so that trusted, maybe it was an accident. Maybe it was. Well, maybe. Maybe I was just an innocent bystander, and really my parents were on the outs, and I was just, you know, Maybe. casualty for the course. You're Maybe blackmail. You're friends with one of us, and we got the plague, and we managed to also infect you. Yeah. You shouldn't Maybe. have been hanging out with us. I shouldn't have been hanging out with a bunch of ne'er do wells, <laughs> but I just happened to be a casualty of war. Okay. Because yeah, the plague is contagious, but not like super like breathing the same air. Ooh, more or, like, maybe yeah, blood Robert, Robert's, Robert's got a good one, yeah. Maybe, maybe, he's an maybe agent. She's the plant. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she was sent to you guys uh, in order to uh, spy on you. And in the reality, I'm just a double agent. That sure, I'll go along oh with your fucking gosh. plans, but send use all the money you're giving me to spy on these guys to find a cure to your bullshit. Or, or like Sinbad says, maybe you're just a random person that got it, like, and that that me that messes with their with their. Oh, you were like, trusted, right? but you just got sick because. But you still you got it exposed. anyway, and that sort of exposes where this is going. Right? Yeah, like, you yeah, are you are the one person that got the plague above the threshold in pure ID. Yes, and then right. suddenly I was just swept under the fucking rug because that that's not supposed to happen. I, I am the problem for the system. Like, yeah. You knew you were pious. You knew you were true. Right? Yes. Why would you be getting this plague? And then the church the turned their back on me. They struck me down and fuck you guys. I'm going to figure you out and show you for the sham you really are. Or, or maybe they didn't. Maybe, maybe they've been like treating you really nicely and they're like, hey, we are really so sorry about this. Like, we know that you're good. And and like in, yeah. internally, you're like, you know what? I've been doing some thinking and I don't believe this bullshit anymore. Like this is, you know, but like they don't that. know that, yeah. right? Like, so like they've been trying to treating you nicely and, and trying to do with kid gloves, but you're you're actually like, like rejecting this behind the scenes in your- Robert's in your also got a good one fits with the Alice thing. She was living the correct life and then followed the right white rabbit down the hole. <laughs> Cool, I love it. So, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'll double up and go with Sneaky. I figure while, where Oz is more physically sneaky, I, I know more of the ins and outs of the different, uh, kind of 
electronic systems and things that the system uses. I know kind of how their computers work or their, their radio systems. I know how to tap into their broadcast wires. I know what junction boxes to stick my tape player in to, 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 to take over the church broadcast for this mm. thing. I dig it. So that's okay. the way I'm sneaking, is I'm sneaking in a techie sort of way. Now we have the MO. Um, and the next two are open convictions where they're not they're not choosing from a list, but you guys are making these up. So uh, the MO is the um, the main technique that you use to beat the authority. It could be a set of skills, uh, your job, um, the concept from the casting phase, or something about your personality that really stands out. So like you're the blank person, right? Like you're the like like, like if the Flash was one of you, he's the fast guy. You know, or the Hulk is the strong guy. So what is that thing for you guys? This might be a good one to put uh, where your superpowers, or if your superpower is lame, then it might go into your uh, disorder. <laughs> um, I think like I want Doug to, Ramsey. I think that I want to use a, like a superpower I, to have um, an, an eidactic memory. So Can like I, you just don't forget that, stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm, an eidactic memory. That's a good one. Yeah, so like anything, if you've ever read it or seen it, like it's it just stuck there in your head. Yeah. Can I spell adactic right on our Google Doc? I think it's idactic. Uh, yeah, no I don't word. I don't know how to spell it. It's just like uh, okay. uh, how do I put it? D I D E T I C adactic. Is this correct? Uh, All right, here you fix it. <laughs> Katie's the know-it-all. <laughs> so maybe maybe that's her disorder. <laughs> that dude, you know that what? You, make, you, you laugh, but that's what I was called growing up. Was a little know it all. It was derogatory. <laughs> Is that what's going to be then? Uh, oh, right. yeah. Robert also says that your disorder doesn't necessarily need to be lame, but it could just be like troubling, right? It could it could complicate your life. I've got mine picked already. My disorder is it's aliens. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> you see aliens everywhere, even when there's I no think, aliens. I think my MO will be my, my superpower is that I have um, somewhat difficult to control, but I can project bursts of electrical energy from my body. So maybe okay. drawing it from nearby areas or maybe projecting it from me. I don't have too terribly great control over where it goes and what it hits. Uh, so maybe that will um, sell out to being uh, sort of uncontrollably dangerous in some way. Okay, uh, so you've got, you you've got relatively relatively small and unfocused bursts of electricity at, at the moment, right? Yeah. Is that what I heard? Yep. Yeah. Another, like an electric surge. Uh, I would like my MO to be invisibility. Like just Ooh. minor, like just being able to like fade or maybe Kind of like a in. hobbit maybe? Like if you don't want people to notice you, they don't notice you. Or like Drax, if you just stand really still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Or like a mystery man. But it only works when no one is looking when at no me. no one's looking. <laughs> <laughs> so that means it only works against cameras <laughs> that are passively recording, not being observed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, uh, that's dumb. <laughs> I'll, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll uh, generally like just some kind of weak camouf camouflaging invisibility kind of thing. Yeah. So are you invisible, like visibly invisible, or is it like a somebody else's problem? I mean, my, like a... my goal with it is that I want to be able to go to a place I want to tag, like a big place, and like get away with it without people spotting me. So if I see that somebody is, I like the idea of, that it can stand still and blend in, as long so as like I stand still. Like a predator type camouflage. Yeah. Right. Like we're like a like a natural. Um, yeah. yeah. What are those lizards called? The Pikachu's ones that are chameleons. Camouflage chameleons. That's right. I, I, I was stuck on the electric burst thing. Now that I'm right. forty, like I forget normal words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? What else do we got? Um, um, let's see. Cassie's got eidetic memory. Cliff's got shocking surges. Oz has camouflage. Katie, what do you got? I'm gonna kind of go along the same line as Cliff, and but instead of electricity, fire. So it makes me a phenomenal chemist out in the field, but with my outrage, it becomes uncontrollable. Oh, fuck. You're gonna burn everything to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like that these have some sort of dangerous 
quality to them. Mm -hmm. that, well, I mean, that's um, the quality that sells out, because normally, like, under normal circumstances, it's kept under control, but if it's sold out, it becomes volatile and you just unpredictable. A, a pyromaniac. Oh, yeah. what about with, uh, what about with Cassie? If you sell your eidetic memory, you start having, like, you, you can't for, you focus on, like, yeah, the like, really bad things. Do you remember yeah. too much? Mm. And your yeah, memories like of all the stuff you don't want to remember keeps coming up. Yeah, no, or, or you, you, know, you want to forget. Like, I just can't remember that. Sold yeah, a fire starter. Like, too much, it. too much going on. Like Professor X when he can't tune everybody out. Mm -hmm. um, what about your disorder? And this is the thing that complicates your life. Not necessarily bad, but it's your fatal flaw. It's something youthful and innocent that that kind of helps you dig deep and uh and and keep going to defeat the authority which is why i like cliffs so much is that yeah, like we're victims of an down, alien invasion we have to know really that these are aliens <laughs> it's the only way to explain this worldwide uh, entrancement to this religion it's some sort of alien mind control they used at an earlier phase they're sending out waves from their intergalactic starship oh, we have to be ready for this <laughs> so, um, Robert, Ball, he just said, um, sell out eidetic memory to precognition. Oh, that's, so like, that's the theme of like, of amping up the powers when you sell them out. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's crazy. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm writing that down. <laughs> and it doesn't even have to be true, but maybe it is. Maybe that. Oh, God. All right, what do we got? One. Uh, I got to do a disorder. Yeah I, need a, yeah, I need a disorder as well. Cassie and and Oz need to do a disorder. Okay. Ah, gosh. And I maybe want... Cassie, when or, I'm sorry, when Katie, when you when you end up selling out your your final your disorder, you will just lose all confidence in your ability to know anything. Yeah, you'll so just, that's what I put in there. Jack anything. of all trades, master of none. But I know all this like little itty bitty tiny things, but in reality, I am competent at absolutely nothing, and it becomes plainly fucking obvious that I'm just my characters all talk and no sustenance. And when when you sell out that final uh, conviction, the disorder, then that's that's it. That's when the game ends. When because that's the final one to go. Right, you save that one till very last. That's at the yep. core of who you who you want. So yeah, we want to yep. keep we want to keep the sold out versions of the um, of those convictions kind of flexible. Hmm. I'm gonna make my disorder shit starter. Like no matter okay. what, I need to make sure that I let people know of the injustices that are happening. You know, like in some mm -hmm. way, because if I don't blast it, people aren't conf confronted with it. To to just consider it, even for two seconds. Okay. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm having trouble figuring out a mind. I don't know. I don't know. All right, uh, Twitch. So, what do you think? What's a good uh, disorder? A, a good What's disorder. At the heart of, of for a little burning, a, a little bookworm that can that's really smart and can remember things. Well, that can remember things. What about um, like? Let's see. So you you also have pride and your so maybe I do. um I don't want to say no at all though, but like I want to say something like you you faith maybe like that that you can yeah. that you can like you have the answer. You just need to you just need to put it out there for people. Hmm. Okay. And so it'd be like that. Yeah. And uh, or, or like I guess maybe a disorder would be like I you know it's kind of, I I don't want to go along the alien thing, but like you know the the truth is out there kind of stuff. Not that not necessarily around aliens, but the truth of like what has been lost. You know, it it can be found. Maybe. So it the, simplifies the, the unity church. Ooh, I mean, that would make sense if, because, like, I was the very, you know, very good kid. Like, but even I mean, though, like, even though you're rebelling against it, you're still kind of like the poster child for what they should be. Yeah. Something like that. Well, shoot. I mean, if I'm going to be the poster child, should my name just be Unity? <laughs> That's really gross and awesome. <laughs> um, I was gonna like say your parents, your parents were like all in, right? They named you Unity, and they're like, I can't even with this girl anymore. 
So, so, so if that's the case, maybe your disorder, not that you're the poster child, I mean, I'm trying to think of like what the problem with that is. And maybe that's yeah. like a self-identity crisis where you are, you know, deep down that you aren't. Yeah, that's you're true. Like, I don't know how to, I, I don't know how to best word that, but. Like, I think that, um. Conflicted. The truth yeah, is like, like, yeah, maybe, what about maybe you're maybe you're too um so there's a suspicious and i think that maybe like i guess the the unstable what what if everybody else is suspicious of you like maybe maybe you just don't mm-hmm. or maybe uh okay okay one thing I've got something in my head, but I don't exactly know the words for it. So, like, basically, I, I, I was, uh, you know, every, I, everybody's little angel until I learned to read, and then I started questioning myself, but I kept it hidden. So, like, I just maybe I, I hide my true self. You're a philosopher. Def- oh, desperate for love. Oh. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> desperate for love or philosopher, I think, are both two really good. Yeah. Options. Um. I mean, a philosopher would really be kind of like at a heart, at like the heart of a lot of things, like to find certainly... answers and stuff. So oh, that would that certainly one. be seen as a disorder by the authority. Palmer Jim says, can't trust anything but books. Like, that, I mean, one's, that one's rough, too. That one's rough, too. I mean, I think that... Because having know, friends, like, right? I mean, like, that's... My actually, own I'm not sure that's... Like, can't trust anyone but books. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it... Yeah. Uh, like, what does that mean to have friends if you can't trust them? Like, that's, yeah. a, that's an interesting, um, like, life question. Okay. Trust All issues, right. maybe? That's true. After, after yeah, your parents after, dumped like, you? Yeah, after my parents completely just abandoned me. Yeah. So, okay. All right. I've got, I've got something. I'm going to write it down. I think it'll be, it'll probably like morph a little bit, but I think that at the heart of it, like trust issues and wanting to be loved and not like, you know, not really believing what people say and, and finding more solace in books you know because the like it's just there the words are there you can't take them back you know it's all like this whole kind of like thing wrapped around in, into a very strange <laughs> like something something like like needs intimacy but rejects it at the same time yeah he has got a good one yeah uh, right out in chat no, he there. doesn't don't encourage him <laughs> he's my husband i will encourage him as much or as little as i choose good Aww. Actually, right, that's what that's that's you're gonna get for tonight, Damien. So I'm gonna call it trust <laughs> issues then. Huh? I'm gonna call What's it trust that? issues. Okay. Our... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Because I know we only have so much <clears throat> tiny space on the on the on the dock. So. So now we've got uh, Unity. Uh, how old is Unity? <clears throat> um, I'm thinking like maybe 13. 13. 12 so a little or bit 13. younger than I the wanted, average. Yeah, I wanted to be younger. Because you know that, and that which makes it even sadder about the trust issues. And is she female? Yes. Okay. And and Oz, we have our graffiti artist. What's his name? Uh, I'm gonna, I, like I said, his his real name is Wilson. It sucks, but he goes by Strike. <laughs> strike. And how old is Strike? He, I, I want to make him older. I think because you know he's he's such a bad boy. I want to say like 16. All right, so the other kids look up to him a bit, or at least think he's cool. Uh, and he's a male as well, right? Yeah. I don't want to assume, but there you go. Um, all right, I think that's it for our uh, world building and character creation. Do we want to take a small break before we come back and, and hop into it? Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. And at that point, we will actually begin the game with this authority and with these characters. Uh, Feel free to knock down the stream boss a bit. I don't think Psychotron actually picked uh, a person, so I say we give ourselves the authority and the click, one of each, so we can see him in action. Um, So this is so that you can uh, block and reroll. Authority can block and click and reroll. 
Um, so yeah, stay tuned as we uh, continue, or rather, as we begin. So yeah, we'll be back with the uh, with the unity of all uh, oppressing everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo.